to another episode, Air Guns and Pesting Channel. Have in front of you is my Gamma Bone Collector Gen 2. Shortly after uh, it came out with the Gen 2, like 9 to 12 months later, they came out with the Gen 3i. The I is for stands for inertia technology. And there really was no difference between the Gen 2 or the Gen 3 bone collector. So, if you actually uh, are able to get the Gen 2, find the Gen 2 bone collectors, you can get them at a pretty decent price. A lot cheaper than the actual Gen 3 bone collector. As far as specification goes, everything is the same. As far as the length, the stock, the internals are all the same. Even shoots the same FPS between the Gen 2 and Gen 3. Now, the reason why they came out with the Gen 3 is because of a new magazine designation. This is the original Gen 2 that came out of this particular rifle here. Went in front of you. And here is the Gen 3 I magazine. Just showing you what the differences are. Aside from the Gen 2 having this red lever here and the Gen 3 having this white lever here on the side, they are identical. Here is the Gen 3i. Fits in the magazine well of my Gen 2. So, if you go on Gamo's USA's website, you can actually actually find the Gen 2 magazine, which are cheaper because they're trying to get rid of all of them, or you can uh, upgrade to the Gen 3 i magazines, which is uh, another like eight, nine dollars more. These are like 11 on the website, I believe. These are like 19 on the website. Which one? The nurse stands for is when uh, it says here on the back, I'm just going to read it. Uh, okay, it's uh, designed when the recall of the the gun itself is what causes the magazine to advance to the next round. Apparently. And it says right here, this magazine is only compatible with a Gamma Swarm air rifle featuring the 10X Gen 3i technology and will not work in any rifles featuring the first or second generation 10X. Well, this is considered a Gen 3i because the magazine will enter exchange between the 2332 generation. So the magazine index is using the inertia force from the recoil of the air rifle, creating a smoother and more precise breech loading process. Well, unless you folks had issues with yours, I don't have any issues with, with uh, the Gen 2 magazines and my Gen 2 bone collector. Worked just fine. You know, uh, I, I did uh, 
accuracy testing out to uh, 62 yards, and uh, this bone collector is pretty accurate. And not one single issue with uh, the Gen 2 magazine. So I'm just putting all this information out there for you. You can make up your mind, you know. But as far as I'm concerned, you know, I was a little concerned, like, well, did I just buy my Gen 2 bone collector prematurely? And then it, all of a sudden it came out with a Gen 3, you know, Gen 3 eye bone collector. Come to find out, it's still the same gun. Just the magazine is different, really color-wise different. Red right here or white? Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Anyways, you know my philosophy, sharing is caring. You folks stay safe. Shoot straight. May your power slug. Hit his target. We'll see you in the next episode. Air guns on the Pets channel. See ya.